Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. In today's video, guys, we will show you on a Chevy Cruze, guys, where the front crash uh, sensors are located, also known as front impact sensors, guys. Uh, you have two of those, okay, on Chevy Cruze. We'll explain how to remove them, how to replace them, and all that stuff. But if you're not qualified and certified to work on airbag systems, I will not recommend it because airbags, guys, can kill you and your passengers. So you have to be extremely careful and know what you're doing. Now, we were doing that just as entertaining video, not a how-to video. Quick introduction, guys. We'll have more than 200 videos on this Chevy Cruze and every car we get at the shop because our mission is to save you guys as much money as we can. So please subscribe to the channel and like the video. Now, the first step, guys, will be to actually disconnect your car battery at least one hour before you remove or replace or disconnect airbag sensors or if you work on airbag system or anything like that our car battery has been disconnected if you don't know how to do that there is a correct way to do it check it out it's on the channel guys uh, which uh, terminal we have to disconnect first and all that stuff it's very important how you do it disconnect the car battery and let it sit for at least one hour that's what we do there is always some risk involved into working on the airbag system so be extremely extremely careful guys and some older vehicles the crash sensor used to be right behind the bumper on this one is way different guys okay they're actually on the upper radiator support okay facing this way now front left impact crash airbag sensor is right here front right side is right there so how you guys remove okay how you guys remove those uh, sensors okay let me let me show you quick let me see the two that fits correctly okay it's uh, actually reverse torque socket okay this is uh, this is what the let me let me just uh, focus here quick this is what the socket looks like we'll have the tools guys we'll have the link in the description of the video below so uh, please guys okay check it out and see where you can purchase yours from so we'll go ahead and uh, go ahead and disconnect the sensor now some people disconnect it after you remove the thing i'll just go ahead and disconnect it now okay let me see if i can get to it to show you okay what needs to be done but okay let me go ahead and remove it so i can show you the connector actually uh, flip it on the other side so you can see okay what i'm talking about so i'm removing the sensor now okay it just needs a little bit more okay you can see it's almost it's almost out guys just a little bit more and it's gonna come out just it's important okay not to drop that bolt inside later because if you drop it you have to find it so I was just wrong guys what is interesting about that you just have to take it loose just a little bit until the sensor start moving you don't have to take it off because you drop your screw once you get it loose you slide it to the outside there is a hole that the screw will come out of okay like that let me show you what I'm talking about okay you can see how it has the hole okay i'm trying to focus here okay perfect you can see the screw goes in here and then you slide it to the right and just get it tight all we need to do just loosen it just a little bit to remove the sensor now okay let me show you how we'll disconnect it that's why i wanted to flip it to show you guys so practically i can get that thing uh, i can actually get that thing tight and later i'll just slide it over and just get it tight right here that red thing, slide it back. Okay, and it may be stuck, so I'll go grab a screwdriver quick, guys. Okay, let me grab one screwdriver. Uh, small flathead usually will work. That's why sometimes I do it after I disconnect them. So once we do that, we get the screwdriver. You can slide that red, uh, red safety clip back. okay like that now you're going to press down here and disconnect it and this is your airbag crash impact sensor if you need to buy any guys we'll have the link in the description of the video below please check it out 
hopefully guys the video will be helpful thank you guys for watching please hit that subscribe button for more videos and see you guys next time